what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Ark on Ragnarok with the new server for our first season of Ark being officially released. Um, so if you guys do enjoy these videos, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and ring that notification bell and share and do the whole deal however you want to do it. So today, um, there's a couple things I want to do. First off, uh, I got to get these guys down into the new dino pen. Uh, I got to level up one more time so I can get a saddle for this Rex. Go out, level him up a bit so we have something nice to walk around on. Um, I do want to advance some things. So, okay, so here's the deal. I want to get, make like, you know, your generators and all the blah, 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 fabricators and all that kind of stuff. Get some electricity going. So I'm need to go find oil. I'm need to find pearls. I'm gonna need some more flyers, I think. Um, I need to kind of just start taming stuff as well. Also, I can't decide if I want to make some kind of ramp that goes down to the dino pen or if I want to keep it just completely hidden as it is. Um, obviously, there's gonna be, be something sticking out anyways. Oh, you know what I didn't think of as well? What's above here? Because, I mean, right now people can drop things on me from above. Uh, let's see, should I build up another level? No, that'd be ridiculous. Though on top of this little bridge could be is kind of a cool spot if somebody wanted to build there. I bet you someone could build there and not even know I'm there. Um, that'd be crazy. So, I think for now I'm going to go start gathering stuff. Um, see what I need to build some electricity type things. Uh, you need some more stamina in your life. Um... Maybe work hard working on polymer, electronics, get fabricator, generator. I'm going to start working on all that stuff. If I see anything good to tame, I'll just tame it up. Bring you guys back for that. Uh, assume I hit the button. Sometimes I forget. But anyways, I'm going to go start working on things and uh, kind of see what happens today. And then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys. I spotted a level 140 Argent. Um, I'm also out looking for oil and pearls and stuff. We'll see if we can get the attention of this sucker. Uh, we do have a pretty decent bow. You, come here. Okay, let's just land and shoot him then. Come on. Shoot. Oh, was this the... Wait, that's that's a mammoth. What? Where'd the Argent go? That's gotta be it, right? And we missed the easiest shot in the world. Oh, you see me now. There, how's that feel? Passive. Come on, bro. Come at me. I've got all the armor in the world. I'll sit here and just take the shots. Go to sleep. We see something with a little more weight than the Terra. Go to sleep. Oh, he's actually looking kind of bloody. Sleep. And it's down. The problem is this area is a little bit dangerous. I did bring some mutton with me. Uh, which I actually meant to put on my Terra and forgot. Who is... Over here. Perfect. So now we're going to sit and watch this sucker. Uh, I already built up a couple things in the base. What level is this one? 45. If there's a second one that's a decent level, we'll do two. That way we don't have to wait twice. So I'll look around. If there's another one, I'll just go ahead and knock it out. And then uh, I'll bring you all back when they're done. All right. We got ourselves a brand new Argent. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. Put it on passive. Um, and then let's, he's on follow. We're going to take this guy home, get him saddled up, and then go out and keep looking for some oil, some crystal, maybe some penguins for some polymer. Uh, and then we'll see where we go, where we go from there. All right, guys, we just got the Argent home, and I did get a saddle made. I'll show you guys what I already did. So I did the crafting station going on here. I made a fabricator. I got a little more cooking stuff going on up here with a fire and a cooking pot and the spoiler and the grill and everything. And everything, beds and stuff going on over there. So let's go ahead and take out this Argent now. Saddle him up. Now we're going to go look for some oil, pearls, and whatnot. We just need all sorts of stuff, honestly. Um... And we need something that had a little more weight, even though the Argent is slower. Open, please. Oh, God. Open the right way. Oh, no. Now we're going to be stuck. Come on. And we made it. So we're going to go ahead and take this sucker out. Let's take a look at his stats. 3,000 health, 700 weight. That's really what we need. Uh, and see what we can... Some kind of good stuff we can find. All right, guys. While I was flying out, I spotted this griffin. I've never tamed one before. I think they're just knockout tamed. This one's a level 130. Uh, let's go ahead and land you. Put you on passive. Hope you don't die. But screw you, because we need a griffin. Oh, yeah. Let's get him. Come on. Come at me. I'm hope I'm just going to let him hit me. I don't think they do insane damage. Okay, I don't want to... Oh! I tamed a Pegomastix. Great. Um, Stupid freaking Pegomastix. Come here, bro. Ooh! I don't know how hard they are to knock out. Passive, please. But I really don't... Oh, my Pegomastix died. All right, guys, this guy seems to be significantly difficult to hit. Dang it, why can't I freaking hit him? There we go. All right, hopefully his topor isn't like too insanely fast going down. 
Okay, now we got a good groove going. I feel like, what is this dirt stuff he keeps kicking up? Or is that just his regular attack? I don't even know what's going on. I hope they're not runners. Go down, sucker! Any second now. What? Don't, don't just start attacking my freaking... Alright, fine. Attack him. That's fine. Oh, where are you going, bud? What? What? We gotta chase him. We gotta chase him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the hell? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. It's gotta be him. Let's make. Let's take a look at his stuff. Yes. Okay. He's almost down. You're gonna land in some just terrible spot, aren't you? Yeah. Come over here over like nice, good land. Ooh. Oh, I hear a scorpion. That's bad news. Don't fly to dangerous areas, Griffin. No, I need you to come down to the ground. We can't hit you up there. Okay, eventually he'll come attack us again if we just keep chasing him. This is terrible, especially because they're just slightly faster than Argent's too, and they don't run out of stamina because they're wild. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, it looks like it's chasing me now. Let's see if we can slowly bring it back down to the ground. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on. No, don't, no, no, no. Come at me. Dang it, come on, we need a couple more shots on it. We need to have better aim. Ah, that dirt makes it really hard to see. Ah! There's a potato shot all over the place. What? That should have been a hit! There's one, okay. Don't you dare. Son of... This is ridiculous. Yeah, get stuck in a wall, get stuck in a wall. It's perfect. This is exactly what we need right here. This, this is when he goes down. No. Stay away. <laughs> ah! Okay, oh, he's coming back. Come on, one more. That's gotta be it! Go down! Dude, this is insane. This is actually way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Let's take a look. Oh, it's go- Come on, one more! And? Oh, and it's finally down. Holy crap. So we should still have some mutton on this Argent that we can take and uh, throw on here and hope, oh, I assume that's what they eat, I don't even know. Um, we're gonna have, might probably have to go get some narcotics. No, it's going down really slow, so we'll be fine in that regard. Okay, we're gonna let this guy tame up and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, this guy should be popping up any second now. And I actually hit him once and he was just unconscious, so I did lose some taming effectiveness. If he was level 150, I'd probably let him wake up again and do it all over again, but he's not. And I just need him, and I want a griffin. I've never had one. Kind of a bummer, but there he goes. And we got ourselves a griffin. Let's throw everybody here on passive, and you don't need a saddle. And I believe they are faster. Dude, this cool. Check that out. And I believe they're faster than Argents. Uh, let's go. Uh, not that. That. Uh, uh. Oh, they're turning, though, is not. Okay, let's do that. Uh, their turning's not the best. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this sucker home, and uh, then we'll take this guy out and go find stuff instead. I can't use a bow on him or anything. Oh, oh, that's a huge benefit. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get this guy home, and then uh, I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, so I figured it was time to test out the new Griffin, and uh, so let's take a look at the stats. 9,000 health, jeez, it's a lot. Uh, 731 stamina, I did up that a few times. Uh, oxygen food, 487 weight, 194 melee, and 136.5 movement speed, which we cannot up. So, 
From what I understand, they're faster than Argent's, slower than Terra's, but they have more weight, so they're kind of in between, but they seem like they have a lot more health. Let's see how much they attack they do, or something we can attack. We can also run on the ground. Oh, also I saw that you can strafe left and right and go backwards in the air, and that's super cool. All right, so let's see. First, let's check land attack. Right click, nothing. Left click, 35 damage, not a lot. Okay, what out from the air? 52, and uh, it's trying to grab him. Can we grab him? Okay, we cannot pick up a Megalosaurus. Okay. Oh, just flying at the ground will make you land, it looks like. Okay. All right, so we're figuring this out. Let's go ahead and regain some stamina. It looks like we gained a level as well. Might as well go ahead and use that. Um, I think more stamina. Let's get stamina at least to a thousand seems to be the way to go. Do your little victory dance. All right, now. Uh, oh, I did hear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're supposed to have some kind of dive bomb. How do you do it? Is it a C? Do I just go down? That's supposed to do like a lot of damage i think let's see. how does it oh Woo! 195 holy crap okay okay hold on how did i do that <laughs> you go up and or something to that thing's running away or something else to attack let's go over here that was gnarly what did I just see? What is that, a bear? This bear's about to get destroyed. So I get right above it, and then I just go, Whoa, 730! Is that because I hit it directly on? Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. So why did it only do 195 the first time? Let's, let's see, let's try it again. So near it. 195. Maybe if I hit it directly. And there was another number there too, but I'm not hitting, I'm not left clicking or anything. I'm just pounding the ground. Okay, not, nothing there. Maybe if I dive and then cl click to attack. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's some serious damage. So stamina is definitely going to be something big with this guy because he's using it up pretty quick with these dive bombs. Okay, now can I do that in the air? And then just kind of come out of it? Uh, no. Okay, let's stop and get some stamina first. Uh, their turning radius is not the best. Not as bad as like a wyvern or something like that, but definitely not the best. Okay, we're gonna level from that. Keep pumping stamina for sure. We're gonna get stamina up to, yeah, definitely a thousand. Then I think we're going to work on... Ah, eh, we'll see how that feels. Maybe even higher. 1,500, 2,000. Maybe put a bunch of levels in there. Because he's in mainly a travel dino. Okay, let's go way up in the air. Okay, so let's say I want to go... Okay, first of all, I want to see what level this Quetzal is. 19. Okay, not worth, not worth anything. So let's say we dive down... Can we, can we, like, dive down and then come out of it and keep, like, the speed? Like, move, like, super fast? Oh, yeah, you can kind of, like, soar. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm digging these guys. This is definitely a cool dino. I'm definitely stoked to have it. Oh, we're gonna start looking for some higher level ones. I don't... Can you breed them? Are they mammals? I'm not even sure. So let's say, can we dive bomb like this Quetzal? Let's see. Up in the air. <laughs> 730, holy crap! We sure can. Let's kill this, let's kill this sucker. Ha <laughs> ha! So you can kind of glide out a bit. You can kind of, so when you're diving, it looks like you can glide. And when you're still gliding, you still do all that extra damage. Oh, that's rad. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get this guy home. This guy's definitely our new favorite flying around mount. Actually, may, actually since I'm out here, I need to fly around and find some oil. I need to find some more crystal and obsidian 
and just random stuff like that. Uh, maybe some penguins or a mantis to kill. Get some polymer so we can start building some more advanced stuff. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys. So after an absolute ton of gathering, I have gathered up pearls. Let's see. We'll see what I got over here. Uh, 359 pearls. Oil. Obsidian. Cementing paste. Crystal. All sorts of good stuff. All the chitin in the world. And also over here in the upgrade station, I've got polymer, organic polymer, which I've been getting from mantises. Um, so now we can go and take a look and see what other crafting stations that we need. What do we need that we don't have yet? We have a fabricator. We don't have a grinder. Which we actually could make. We actually have enough to make a grinder. We may end up doing that. Let's see what else first. Uh, so we already all have, that, have all that. Cooking. We already made the grill. I mean, we'll make a barrel, but that's not anything special. Uh, so right now, that's kind of all we need. Oh, yeah, obviously we need the generator. What am I thinking? I was, like, I was like, why was I gathering this stuff? The generator. So that's electronics and ingots. I did get, like, a shocking trank rod thing um, I, from some, some drop, and I broke it down. and got 90 electronics, plus some, those pearls are turned into electronics. Um, so I need to make some gas and then uh, start getting this thing running, making electronics and stuff. Uh, now, I was thinking the generator up here would be a good spot, way in the back. But I think before we do that, we need to co we would need to cover it in something. Uh, so let's grab some stone stuff. Let's grab some stone, some wood, some thatch, and let's make let's see S plus stone. How do we want to do this? Maybe a found just a foundation. Make some old box of the foundation. So can we throw one of these like up here? Ugh. I don't need it to snap somewhere. It's not necessary. Uh, how do we want to do this? Oh, will it even snap in there in there just like that? Then we can just use one? Can I turn it around? There we go. Yeah, that's what I like. Let's demolish this sucker. Might as well get rid of parts we don't need. And then do S plus stone doorway. And then one, two of those, and a ceiling. Bam! Now we have a nice little little generator box. How perfect is that? Okay, so we need to make some wires and stuff. Whoa, a little bit of lag. Uh, and how do we want to run electrical? I guess we'll just throw some up in the roof and kind of just... It doesn't need to be perfect, I guess. All right, we'll let stuff craft up, and I'm going to start just kind of running wires and kind of see what it looks like. And then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so I went ahead and ran some wiring. It doesn't look too bad. I used some of those flexible ones to get rid of, like, the little angled ones, but... Even though that's the case, we're just going to hide it anyway. So we can do that with S+. Plus. We can just do hide wires, and it's just like that. Oh, we can't hide the boxes, though? Oh, that's weird. Oh, we can. Hide. Oh, but we still see the sparks. Okay, we're just going to have the wires showing, because that looks ridiculous otherwise. Um, and that's fine. They don't look too bad. But what we need to make now are some of the refrigerators. And we should have enough stuff. I already put everything in here, I think. Oh, don't show everything, please. Uh, let's go with... Electrical. We don't need air conditioning units anymore because we do have the Jones egg mod and all that in the incubator. But let's go ahead and make a few fridges. We can make six. Do we need six? How many things? Let's make four. And honestly, that's probably enough. Um, electrical. Craft amount. One, two, three, four. And we'll craft these suckers. And then we'll throw those up on top. I did make a little ledge here, if you can see this. Where I put preserving bins. Also, we're going to need lights and decoration and stuff. But I think I'm going to work on all of that in the next episode. I also want to do some more taming and whatnot. Let's grab these and kind of see how they look. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Let's do this. Uh, and let's center it, actually, best we can. Let's do the same line as these so they don't look ridiculous. These two preserving bins. Uh, let's turn it a little that way. Turn it a little this way. I can't get it to line up just right. The way I like it. That's pretty close. Now let's start right here in the middle. Yeah, like that. A little off to the side. Okay, so we'll throw two on this side. That's one. Oh, you can... Oh, will they snap? Oh, they'll stack on top of each other. That's kind of cool. I don't... Completely unnecessary for what I need, but... Four. Uh, how does that look? Well, we got four, and I think that's... Fine. So we got that. We got preserving bins. We're going to have cooking stuff here. We'll need to make room for our industrial cooker when we can make that. And I'll put the grinder along this wall. Or maybe the grinder along this wall and just cooker there. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out. Um, 
Anyways, guys, we had a lot of stuff done. So for today, I do think that is going to be it. Oh, also, we have this nice fireplace burden. I do want to start doing some more decorative stuff, too, because why not? We got a nice cave, and it's pretty empty. We should decorate it. Um, but anyways, guys, for today, I do think that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. There is a link to a Streamlabs hip jar in the description below. And I'll check me out on all your social medias. But anyway, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.